Hey traders, this is Tosh Bradley. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club MIC community. Right now, we have a very special holiday discount sale going on for MIC members or anybody wanting to join. We have $200 off our annual yearly package and we have an unprecedented $1,000 off our lifetime package. And we are raising prices going into the new year. So if you want to take advantage of these discounts, they are only good and only available right now until December 31st. Take advantage. We will definitely, definitely be raising prices soon. Yeah, dude, Alex's watch looks pretty good. Like, I mean, he literally just goes over like, I mean, like if you have a problem with lines, if you have a problem with like, you know, why this level, why, I mean, he goes over it in his, in his, um, in his watches. They're pretty good, especially like, you know, like, I mean, God forbid, like you shouldn't be lazy, but if you were lazy, you could just wake up and watch the watch. Um, yeah. It's fun, Jared. Yeah. Yeah. So try to fix the flaw. Yeah, we did try to fix the flaw and it might not be the same flaw for everyone, but try to fix that flaw. And if you can't fix it, you got to consider dumping it and just trying something else or try a variant of it, you know, try to create a variant. And we talked about that too. You know, if, if the setup's not working, you know, create a little variant of the setup and see if that works. <clears throat> All right. So um, without further ado, I think let's, let's get started on the emotions webinar. <clears throat> oh, oh yeah. So by the way, I forgot to do this deal. If, um, if this is your first webinar, the way this is going to go is I'm going to go through a PowerPoint and Q&A is going to be at the end. If you have a question <clears throat> and it pertains to what I'm talking, oh, Mario, the links, is, oh, you can't hear me. Um, if you have a question, um, and it, you know, go ahead like, and throw it out there, and I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. Oh, thanks, everybody. Um, yeah, I'll try to get to it as soon as I can, if it's pertinent to kind of what we're talking about. If it's not pertinent, I'll, I'll still get to it. It'll just be at the end. So, <clears throat> so feel free to post a question whenever you want. All right, so let's get started. Um, emotions. So in light of Star Wars coming out tonight, um, there's gonna, there, are, there are gonna be Star Wars pictures trying to, trying to visualize what we're talking about. Um, so we're gonna be talking about emotions today. So I'm gonna go over some, some key traders of the week and hopefully I wanna kinda go over uh, your trades. You know? So if you guys feel comfortable, you know, especially the guys that come here all the time, please feel free, post a chart, you know, and, and, and let's dissect the emotions behind the chart. I want to do that with a couple of, uh, of charts, if you guys are comfortable. Um, I'm going to go over market sentiment like I do every week. You know, what were the movers? Why do they move? Wh where are we going? Uh, I have a couple of trader topics I want to go over before we get into the heart of it. And so, so I don't know if you guys heard, I had a really rocky start to the day. Um, some of you guys probably know you guys were on. I, I talked about it before the, the stream started. By the way, can you guys see that it's recording? Um, Says it, it is, says it is for me. Perfect. Okay. So I woke up, um, I set an alarm and long story short, I, you know, I apparently slept through my, I set two alarms. I slept through the first one, but I didn't know that I slept through the first one. So I woke up at like five minutes after the open. That really sucked. So I like hurry up, rush to my computer. By the time I get to the screen, like, um, I see CBIO and it's tanking and I see that it's easy to bar. I see that the flow is low. And like, I immediately try to, uh, like, I'm getting Skype calls from people saying, dude, why aren't you up yet? You're normally up. And so, so like, I'm trying to answer these calls and like, my microphone's not working. So I'm trying to unplug my microphone. Long story short, many excuses later, uh, my mouse stops working. And like, I'm literally frozen. Like my mouse isn't working. So I, I, I try to warn people in chat, like warn the shorts, maybe like, try to help the longs because it's not very often where you get a chance to alert long i don't mean alert but like um discuss potential longs ahead of time because a lot of longs are reactive at least they are for me a lot of my longs are reactive to the price action whereas shorts you can kind of wait for the left side of the chart to form and you're trading the per, you know your estimated right side of the chart like you know what i mean is left side of the chart right side of the chart the install like when because imagine you bought you might not think about it, but there are people who are buying at 260. Why? Because they, they, they missed it at 240. You know, they missed, or sorry, they missed it. They missed it at 250. And, and like, they're afraid they're going to miss it. So they're buying up here. 
right? And now, now this is a whole minute candle, right? This is a whole minute where they're sitting there with a 262 average and they're sitting there for a whole minute being like, and it's not continuing to go up. And new traders, especially people who buy at the tops and short at the bottoms, if they stall at the bottom or stall at the top, there's often an emotional, uh, an immediate emotional knee jerk reaction to, oh my God, I gotta sell because I just bought the top. And that's the kind of stuff where you get these kind of candles, right? That's kind of like literally what my CBIO trade was, right? I saw this up here and I saw it like when this popped up, it popped up huge on, it popped up huge and really fast. I'm like, okay, it's got to go right now or I'm going to short this thing. Like I'm going to short this because everyone who just bought into this wall here is expecting it to break. And if it doesn't break, like I did this, this, this stalled for a good like 20, 20 seconds. I'm like, oh man, it's going. Like it, it was starting to hesitate and saw so I'm like, this is not what people who just bought up here want to see. Same kind, like this candle and this candle, in my opinion, are the same, the emotions are, the same kind of emotions are behind this candle. You know, oh, sorry, this candle and this candle. It's just, this one was in a stuffing area and this one, this one wasn't, right? This had just broken high a day, so of course people want to buy the dip. So, but like this one, it was supposed to break, right? This one was supposed to break high a day and fail, so everyone bails on the long. So they're different scenarios, but I think the same emotions drive this candle as does this one. But of course, this one recovers because it just broke high a day and people are buying the dips. Um, and this one doesn't because it just failed to break out, right? It's just different scenarios. Uh, what's another one? Bottom fishing. Um, <clears throat> go over some of these. Um, oh. Yeah, blast on this one. I've done this before. So normally when I do this, um, I have an idea. Like, so <clears throat> when I do these kind of trades, I look at 180 and say, I want to trade a little bit below 180 and a little bit above 180. I might've done this one. I might've gone to 190, 195. But um, like, so like, like, where did you start? 170. So here, here's my rule on this. When I decide to do this, and I don't do it very often anymore. Um, like the goal for me is that I think, 180 area is going to reject. So if I start at 170, I better be willing to go to 190. And if I start at 160, I better be go willing to go to two. Right? However much under I give, I try to give over. And that's just me. I'm trying to be even with it. Um, but obviously that doesn't make sense, 160 to 140. But like you can imagine if it was like 560 to six, like a 40 cent range in like a pricier stock, right? But like typically, like if I give, if I'm giving it 10 cents under, I want to give it 10 cents over, right? Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.